Okay, we're back for the next segment in Gaming Talk, episode 13. I almost lost it there. Um, the next segment is about Destiny's new expansion. This news is hot off the press because it was revealed today. It, it was leaked today. Well, not really leaked today. It was leaked a couple weeks back when Deej, what we all saying is Deej, the community manager over there, took a picture of the, the poster of Rise of Iron the 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 Lord Salivan holding a flaming axe. Now the trailer is out, and we have enjoyed it, and we have seen it. Me and Fresh actually dissected, um, and and just for context sake, uh, we'll tell you what's in the Rise of Iron, and as well as the release date. Now, what's in this? What's in it is a new story, a new raid, a new strike, and updated strikes. We're gonna get new guns, new armor. And also a, ma a new light level max, as well as um, a patrol zone and a social space, a new social space. Now, the the the, 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 the mode. Uh, did you say the moon? I said the, the new crucible mode. Oh uh, yeah, new crucible mode and crucible features. Hey man, let's just hope and pray that it's custom games because. With custom games, you don't need expansions no more. You just make your own game, you know? Like Halo 3, shoot. Like that game outlived itself because of custom games. Um, other than that, though, Destiny... And people like you. I'm sorry. Hold up. What you said? What? Naughty, you just dropped something. Oh, I was saying you were one of the people that created your own maps as well. So you, you was part of the community that helped further that existence. Yes, sir. I definitely helped customize and edit. At the end of the day, custom game modes will be welcomed. Destiny new expansion is going to be $30 and it releases this September on the 20th. Now, I'm excited about this because I'm a huge Bungie fan. I've been with Bungie since the first Halo. They really left a big impression on me. Bandit, did you? Bungie jumper. Oh, Bandit, did you play any other yeah. Halos? Uh, yeah, I played the, the 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 first Halo game um, and the second, and then pretty much left it after that. I mean, they were okay games. I I just I just never got around to the third one, and then the fourth one came out, and the fifth one came out, and I was like, okay, I'm I'm gonna catch up with at this point. <laughs> so, <laughs> Let um, me say this. Yeah, I played the first couple, but yeah, they're alright. Uh, they I didn't like them as much as everybody else did, but I thought they were they were okay. That's 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 all right, Bandit. Um, eject out the podcast. I'm just kidding. No, 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 no. <laughs> you just see a chair fly out the the ceiling. It, but 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 let me say this. I, I uh, uh Halo Three. I, I, you should try to play that. Halo Three, in my opinion, was the best Halo. In my oh. opinion, fresh. You play the Halos. Um, hold up. How did we get from? Destiny, I guess Destiny is from Bungie and Bungie to Halo. Bungie, Bungie was, yeah. Custom games and you said one of the custom games and then you said Halo and you asked him about Halo. Yeah. That's Thank you. That previously yeah. on the last five seconds of Gaming was, Talk. It, but... Which was the best one? We done. That's it. Three is the best one. Did you say four? No, Reach. I said Reach was the best one. Man, Reach is basically right under four. Actually, it was better than four, but four, it seemed that they were trying to be a better... A better Halo Reach. Four was aiming to be a better Halo Reach instead of being a better a better Halo in general. Because Halo Three is the game it should have been going off on, not Halo Reach gameplay. But we can get into that maybe another time, because Halo is a mouthful, maybe an hour long actually, and we don't have that kind of time. So going back to Destiny, Rise of Iron, is is, is anybody else excited? Or am I the only one in this place dancing? Excited. Talk to us, Bandit. You sound like a guy who used to play Destiny and who don't play it no more. Um, well, that's not too far from the truth, actually. <laughs> I played the uh, <laughs> I played the the alpha um, when it when it came out, just trying it out, and I thought it was all right. I mean, it just didn't really give a lasting impression on me, and I, I never really bothered with the full game when that was released. And um, I've watched a few video, what do you call it? Um, a few uh, live streams of it. Um, and it, yeah, it seems like it's an okay game. I just, I just, I just haven't bothered to play it. So, yeah. I mean, this just trailer I just watched. It looks pretty cool. Like the graphics look pretty cool. Or oh, well, it's probably more cutscenes and graphics in there. To be fair, but um, it, it looks pretty cool. It's pretty interesting. It looks like it's a more of a 
more of a new game than an expansion. So I'm not too sure what that is, but uh, yeah, that's I, I felt that type of way too about that trailer. I yeah. felt like that, like it was a new game. It, I, I definitely felt like it. It is trying. Let me say this. I'm gonna be dead honest with you, right? Like, listen, Destiny Taken King was Destiny Two. I don't care what anybody say. Destiny Taken King was Destiny wow, 2. How was it Destiny 2, though? Because, they, listen, they though. They didn't have enough to be a... Listen, super. though, that Taken King was rumored to come out at 60. Once they heard that the fans and everybody and their grandma was about to throw pitchforks at their house, they lowered it down to 40. Like, seriously, Taken King was going to be 60. And what are $60 games? Full games. So, if Taken King was going to be 60 and they bumped it down to 40, and now they're bumping the next one to 30, let me say this. They, it's they fought actually, Fresh. They shouldn't have released Destiny 1 as incomplete as it was. Because Destiny yeah. 1 had a lot of stuff going for it, but it missed its mark when it came to story. And a lot of people got burned by the grind. Because the grind the came was... came out this year instead of four, uh, 14. Taken King came out this year or last year? No, K Taken King came out last year. That's when Destiny should have came out. I'm, I'm saying That's Destiny right. Paris should have came out this year, 2016. No, nah, man, it should have came out last year when Taken King. No, because you got to understand, all these expansions, uh, Taken King and uh, Rise of Iron would have been in Destiny in one package. No, first, you got to you forget that, remember the first two expansions? The Dark Below and the House oh, of Wolves? Oh, yeah, House of Wolves, you're right, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Taken King included that both of those. That was Destiny one, though. I'm sorry? That didn't come with the first Destiny, though. No, 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 but it came with Taken King. That's why I say last year should have been when Destiny came out. Because if people came, came out with three raids, it would have been over. <laughs> like yeah. Destiny Destiny 1 came out with one raid, and it didn't even come out the first day launch. It, it wait, They waited a whole, like, two weeks to release the raid. And then they raided, waited a whole another few weeks to release the hard mode of the raid. Speaking of raids... Um, I want to talk about uh, Vault of Glass, the first raid. Did you play it, Bandit? Um, maybe. <laughs> Does it sound like? I mean, I don't remember. It was a while ago, so. Uh, All right, eject uh, out the maybe. podcast one more time. Oh, no, I'm, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, but listen though, um, Vault of Glass. Let me say this: it was, it was good, um, and then Crota's end was fun, and then it went to fighting Oryx, the father of Crota. That's terrible. Stop it. Listen. That was terrible. You don't want to play Vault of Glass. No. Don't hop in there. Vault of Glass is good. I mean, you hate that game, man. No, I <laughs> hate Vault of Glass. It's like doing homework like when you was young. Like, you didn't feel like doing it. Let me say this. Fresh, you just didn't have a, a good experience because you, you was in teams that kept wiping. And let me say no, this about I'm Destiny. Just... They taught me so many different words like wiping, cheese, and wiping what else? Wiping for wiping out. No, not wipe. Well, like, no, no, like, hey, hey, wipe. Like, the whole team, kill yourself. Like, the whole team got to kill themselves. So, when you hear a party leader say wipe, that means everybody kill, kill your guardian. Um, is it, 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 it restarts the encounter. Ah, uh, okay. And, and let me say this. Let me say this, um, Nardi. Well, I just continue the encounter. Well, I mean, it sounds like a pretty pointless tactic to kill yourself. Well, see, you dudes. It, it, it's basically like it's basically like you dug yourself a hole that you don't want to be in, so just restart. It's basically like that. Yeah, it's definitely. That's a good. That's a good one. Can y'all relate to digging yourselves in a hole and and you can't get? Well, we're humans, and in real life, you can't really kill yourself to restart. It'll be over. But at the end of the day, in Destiny, that's what wiping Yolo. means. That's a little bit sad, Nardi. Anyway, um, look, going further into the expansion details, they said it's going to have a new raid, and in the trailer, I don't know if y'all noticed, but it looked like you were fighting a house. Like, seriously, it looked like a house was swinging its arms at you. So I'm excited about the new raid. It looks crazy. Yeah, uh, that that house that they was fighting, that's part of, uh, what, Serva? Serva? What is it called? Yeah. Serva? Yeah, it's a, a new, a new yeah. enemy combatant in Destiny. Yeah. It's going they to be a new faction, actually, that you're going yeah, to fight against. They got some technology for you now. They, they, they got some technology coming for us, so that's yeah. going to be crazy. What, what? The Vex wasn't enough? Now we got more robots trying to kill us? <laughs> what? Man, it's going to be like Terminator Salvation out there. Terminator Watch. Salvation? And, dude, let me say this. That snow area, man, I'm done. Like, Yeah, that's like Rise of the Tomb Raider. Dude, Rise of the Tomb Raider. 
Except you, you jump better. You said what's better? I said you jump better. Oh. What, it feel like the word on her back? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever that means. <laughs> like, everybody's on her back. Oh, oh. no. No, they don't. I, I, could, I could show y'all this right now because I'm playing the game right now as we speak, so... When you jumping from ledge about. to ledge, no, you seen the, the, the Uncharted 4 versus Tomb Raider. Yes, you showed me this, and I, what I saw was, you know, the part where she jumped on, like, double jumped off the wall, but aside from that, that's the only thing I could assume y'all are talking about, because when she jumps, she kind of floats more than anything. While she floating, then. That's not realistic. But I'm saying, that's just how <laughs> Drake jumped. So, it's, I mean, it's exactly it's, almost the I'm same I'm not going to lie, Drake do, he do make some impossible jumps, though, man. You got to admit that. You right. Let me say well, this nah, though. Everybody will help. You're conscious. Let me say this. This is yeah. Destiny, not Uncharted versus Tomb Raider. <laughs> Once Tomb Raider gets to PlayStation, then we could probably go face off with those two. But until then, about this whole Destiny coming out this September, I'm excited. I would love to hear you guys in the comment section. Are you excited? Because you know we can go straight deep in there, but like the trailer, I already said everything is going to include. Um, one thing before we bounce off to the next segment is look. If you if you didn't notice what um, Deej was saying during the live stream about the reveal, he was saying actually Deej didn't even say it, it was in the trailer. Uh, Laura Sullivan said that that like they, he hinted at that this robot, this new faction race, can take over more than just the take more than just the fallen. I think yeah. they grab whatever they can. I think we're gonna maybe see Cabal or even Vex or Not even. even that. Not even that. I, I, I know we go, we might see a good story because oh, what I asked for, what I asked for in Destiny for the story was, you know, uh, grab the elements that you have already as far as you know characters and make a story out of it, like like uh, Laura Solomon. Like I wanted them to do that. And that's amazing. Like, yeah. Like we know certain people now. We long know them long enough to make a story about them. Like oh snap, oh it's a story about him, story about her. It's going to be some type of nostalgic because. We need this in Destiny. Destiny deserved to, you know, have a good story at least. Come on now. It's got everything going but a story. Well, Taken King was a good story. Um, I, I enjoyed it. But other than that, um, any last words on the Rise of Iron DLC? Yes. AKA yes. Uh, go pre-order that Rise of Iron, $30. Uh, pre-order it, you get a uh, Galahorn, all black, baby. Let's do it. All black? What, what, what? This black, is the black. year for um, the Brotherhood or the Brother Man. Yeah. For the brothers. We we got we got Marcus from Watch Dogs. We got that dude from Mafia Three, and now we got Laura Salomon. It's over. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> hey hey, nice. we, we we all brothers, one race, human race. Okay, let's move on. Now let me say this about shooting games. I am playing Overwatch right now, and let me say this: Is, is anybody else playing Overwatch? Crickets. <laughs> no. Uh, all right. <laughs> you guys no. suck. Man, let me say this about um, Watch Dogs 2. As far as the improvements they're bringing to the table, I think Watch Dogs 2 is going to be a, a testament on a company taking feedback and applying to their game. Like, 